Yo, to Devin and his dad to get out my dick. And you ain't got no power. You know, I sparred him twice. Almost knocked him out in Floyd Jim. Gervonta Davis filled all the reasons in the world of why he doesn't want to fight Devin Haney. Stick along, because we've got some spicy boxing drama coming your way. You heard it here first. So, Devin Haney, right? Dude just snagged the WBC super lightweight world title from Regis Progre, making a grand entrance into the 140-pound division. And let me tell you, it wasn't just a stroll in the park. He knocked Progres down in the third round and left him dazed. The judges, with a unanimous decision, declared Haney the winner, scoring at 120, 107. This assured the dominance he displayed throughout the match on Saturday. Haney had Prograde down on the ground in the third round and even stunned him with a direct hit in the sixth round. After this immaculate performance, Haney's father, Bill Haney, claimed his son to be the face of boxing and took a swing at Gervonta Davis for giving himself this accolade. Bill Haney puts Gervonta Davis on the spot. In the aftermath of the Progre showdown, the potential clash between Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis appears to be a tightly contested matchup, with opinions leaning towards a 50-50 split. Haney, buoyed by his accomplishments, business acumen, and exceptional technical skills, has established himself on a comparable or even superior platform to Davis. Notably, Bill Haney, Devin's father, has emphatically asserted that they will not yield to Tank's rehydration clause and what they perceive as lowball offers. He said, Hiding behind Twitter and hiding behind the other crap, those days are over, man. Devin is the face. Then he goes on to talk about how Davis cannot really be called the face of boxing. He explained further, How you gonna be the face and you never get asked questions to y'all? How you gonna be the face and you don't fight the people that you wanna fight? How you gonna be the face and you brag about the money you charge to people and it's a fight that is a mismatch? Come on, man. Is that the face? Rumor has it in the past few days, Davis has been sending a lot of cryptic messages supposedly in the direction of the dream. Still, Haney believes Tank doesn't want to take the fight against him. Devin Haney calls out Davis for dodging him. Following his victory as the WBC super lightweight champion, Devin Haney contemplates potential future matchups. He also acknowledged that a showdown with a rival previously defeated by Davis seems more plausible than a bout against Davis himself in 2024. Haney expressed cautious optimism about a lucrative fight with Ryan Garcia, deeming it a possibility during his post-fight press conference on Saturday night. However, when addressing the prospect of facing Davis, Haney conveyed a sense of pessimism. He said, Tank don't want to fight because if he really wanted to fight, then he would be trying to build up the fight instead of trying to, you know, knock it down or, you know, say I'm only selling because of this or because of that. So Devin Haney is ready to take on Tank. However, it remains to be seen if Davis decides to compromise and take the fight that the fans are keenly looking forward to. What are your thoughts about this? Tell us in the comments section. Devin Haney says, Tank don't want to fight because uh, if he really wanted to fight, then he would be trying to build up the fight instead of in trying to not, you know, knock it down or, you know, try to, you know, say, oh, I'm only selling because of this or because of that. If he really wanted to fight me, he would, you know, be making it that, you know, it's a big fight and, you know, it's the best fight for boxing. But, you know, he uh, he only talks down on the fight. But like I said many times, they say everything, but let's fight. Tank and his team have consistently lied to the people. They created this narrative that because you make money or because you charge the people some astronomical money for a fight that you know that the guy is going to lose. Stop letting Tank and his team piss on your head and tell you it's rain with these insignificant fights. You know what I mean? The saying is for the culture. All right, let's switch gears a bit. Gervonta Davis's WBA belts don't matter to him despite Devin Haney's announcement. The Dream is currently slated to return to the boxing ring early next month to face Regis Progre. That will be Haney's first up at super lightweight as he attempts to become a two-weight division champion. While that might happen, he won't be holding gold in the weight class below on fight night. Earlier this week, the undisputed lightweight champion announced his decision to vacate the titles. At the time, Haney stated that he previously hoped to unify the titles with Davis's WBA lightweight title. However, the two couldn't reach an agreement on a deal. That being said, it's clear that Gervonta Davis doesn't care much about the WBA gold. On social media, Tank reacted to news that he would be upgraded to WBA super lightweight champion. He famously won the gold back in 2021 with a knockout win over Mario Barrios. Since then, Davis has defended the WBA regular lightweight title three times. 
The Dream held all the gold at lightweight and is vacating multiple titles, not just the WBA Super Championship. Obviously, Davis will be upgraded to being the WBA Super Champion, but what does that mean for the rest of the division? Well, one title, the WBC lightweight title, was already won by Shakur Stevenson last month against Edwin De Los Santos. However, the IBF title bout is expected to be contested in an early 2024 matchup. Vasyl Lomachenko is currently slated to face former champion George Cambosos Jr. in Australia at some point early next year. The title is expected to be added to that matchup, but it's not decided. Loma and the Emperor are also highly rated with the WBO and could potentially fight for that title as well. However, it remains to be seen if that will occur. Now, rumor has it that behind the scenes, there's a whole lot more brewing. Whispers in the boxing world say that Davis might be playing it cool, but he's not exactly thrilled about the prospect of facing Haney. Word on the street is that Davis has been sending cryptic messages, kind of like a boxer's version of subtweeting, directed at the dream. But Haney, well, he's not buying it. He's out here calling out Davis for dodging the fight, claiming that if Davis really wanted to throw down, he'd be hyping it up, not trying to tear it down. Seems like the trash talk is reaching epic levels, doesn't it? And let's not forget Bill Haney, Devin's father, who's putting Gervonta Davis on blast. He's basically saying, enough with the hiding behind Twitter and other stuff. Devin is the face, and you can't argue with that. Now, it's not just about the belts. It's about who's the real face of boxing. Bill Haney is throwing some shade, questioning how Davis can call himself the face when he avoids the tough questions, dodges the fights he should be taking, and brags about money in mismatched bouts. It's like a verbal jab fest outside the ring. But here's where it gets interesting. Haney, after securing the WBC super lightweight title, is eyeing potential matchups. And you won't believe what he said about Davis. He's thinking, maybe a showdown with someone Davis beat before is more likely than going head-to-head -head with Davis in 2024. Cautious optimism about a lucrative fight with Ryan Garcia is in the air, and it's got fans buzzing. But when it comes to Davis, there's a sense of pessimism from Haney's side. He's dropping truth bombs, saying, Tank doesn't want to fight because if he really wanted to, he'd be building it up, not tearing it down. Now let's talk about the gold those shiny coveted belts. Davis, with his WBA gold, seems to be sending a clear message. He doesn't care. Even after news broke that he'd be upgraded to WBA super lightweight champion, he tweeted, I don't want that crap. Talk about making a statement. But here's the twist. Devin Haney, the one who just vacated multiple titles, had hopes of unifying with Davis for that WBA lightweight title. Unfortunately, no deal was struck, leaving us with more questions than answers. And as Davis gets ready to be crowned the WBA super champion, the entire lightweight division is left in suspense. Shakur Stevenson's got the WBC lightweight title, but the IBF title is still up for grabs in a 2024 matchup. Lomachenko and Cambosos Jr. are gearing up for an epic showdown in Australia. The WBO title is in the mix, adding an extra layer of excitement. So, what does all this mean for the lightweight division? Well, Gervonta Davis is one of the few high-profile fighters stepping into the ring of comments. And with the drama unfolding, it's safe to say that the boxing world is on the edge of its seat, waiting for the next big move. Will Davis step up to the challenge, or will he continue playing it cool? And as for Haney, is he destined to face Davis, or will other matchups steal the spotlight? One thing's for sure, the buzz around these fighters isn't fading anytime soon. So grab your popcorn, because the next chapter in this boxing saga is about to unfold, and you won't want to miss it.